What's going on everybody and welcome back to the electrician's broom today We're gonna go over how to rough in a wall. Let's jump into it So the first thing you want to do for in wall is lay out your devices your switches your plugs your lights anything That's gonna go on the wall. So let's grab a tape measure and we'll do our layout So the first device that we're gonna lay out is gonna be our switch We're gonna go 48 inches to the bottom the next device will be our first receptacle on the wall at 14 inches to the bottom We'll do another receptacle over here at 14 inches to the bottom I'm also going to add a light up here around 75 inches and pretty much every case you're going to have your lights in the ceiling but to show you how to wire it I'm putting it right here so you can see it. Now that the layout's done we can start our boxing. Before we install these boxes I want to show you these two lines on the side of the box. They're there for a reason to indicate how far back you want to install your box before you nail it off to your stud. Our switch box first 48 inches to the bottom. Go ahead and get the box lined up where you want it and then you can hammer it off. onto our plug 14 inches to the bottom line it up nail it off now that we have our boxes installed we can go ahead and drill the holes for our wire now when you're drilling the hole you want to make sure you're in the center of the stud these are the locations that we're going to have to drill we're going to come through the top here because that's where our feeds going to come in for the circuit then we'll go across here get all the way over to our switch box, and then drill over here to our light. Now when drilling down low, do you, not, you do not have to be at the exact same height all the way down. What I like to do is place my drill just below my hip and keep it consistent. We've got all our holes drilled, now we can pull our wire. We're gonna start right here because this is our feed and then we'll connect every other device to the circuit. Our wire's in, now we can go ahead and land the wire inside of the box. Now in every one of these boxes, we have tabs in the back that break away. All you do is take a pair of needle nose, go ahead and punch them out. And then you can land your wire in the box. In this location, we have two wires, so we're gonna punch out two holes. And then at every location that you have a box, you wanna make sure that you support your wire within 12 inches of the box with a staple. You can also use a stacker, but you usually only have to do that if there's a lot of wires. Here we only have two, so we're just gonna use a staple. Now you don't want the staple to be too tight because you could potentially damage the wire. So you just want it snug enough to keep the wires in place. Same exact thing with our switch box. The only difference is that we have our power coming in from the bottom and our switch leg coming in from the top. So we'll go ahead and punch out the top and punch out a hole in the bottom. Get our wires landed in the box. Again, support them within 12 inches of every device location. Get a staple on there. Another staple at the top. We need one up here as well. Get it nice and centered on the stud and hammer it in. Quick recap of what we did today. So we came in here with our power source, fed our first receptacle. We jumped out of there to feed our next receptacle, came out again to feed our switch box. From our switch box, we have our switch leg that travels up to our light. And that is how you rough in a wall. Thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed the video or learned something, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.